everyone. Welcome to Storytime with me, Mrs. Prudhomme. Today's story is about something awesome happening in our backyard, my parents' backyard, and my neighbor's front porch. Pictures taken by me and Mr. Prudhomme. In order for this to happen, you have to buy a milkweed plant. The kind that we have are tropical milkweed plants. Some have the red and yellow flowers, and some have yellow flowers only. These plants you have to cut back to the ground twice during the growing season to limit the spread of disease. And that plants should be removed late in summer so as not to interfere with migration. This seems to be where all the action is taking place in our backyard. If you can't find the plants, you can buy the seeds at a nursery. And what do you think is visiting our backyard? Yes, monarch butterflies. The monarch butterfly is one of the world's most well-known insect, being easily identifiable by its bright orange and black wings. Monarchs are known for migrating. They fly from Canada all the way to Mexico. Birds know that monarchs taste awful, so they never go near them. That's good to know because we have birds that like to visit our backyard. Monarchs feed on the nectar from flowers, which contains sugars and other nutrients. Here is a short video of Monarch. Drop by to get some nectar. Did you see butterflies sleeping? Shh, don't wake them up. At night or when it gets too cold or cloudy, butterflies rest. They sleep hanging upside down under a leaf. This protects them from rain and keeps them warm enough to fly away. This hanging requires minimum energy as their claws can rest onto the leaf with little effort, opposed to standing right side up. Even during nap time, butterflies are still alert they do not have eyelids, so their eyes are always open. A butterfly is born. Did you know that butterflies start their lives off as something completely different? They experience an awesome transformation called metamorphosis. There are four stages, egg, caterpillar, pupa, also known as chrysalis, and butterfly. A female lays one small egg on an individual milkweed plant. The egg is about the size of a period at the end of a sentence. A female monarch Butterfly lays from 100 to 300 eggs during her life. The eggs hatch about four days after they are laid. Because it's so tiny, it's hard to get a clear picture. Sorry about that. But this is what the egg begins to do after four or five days. The larva chews the egg shell in order to come out. Also, here's a short video. This is what an egg looks like after five days. Tiny caterpillars beginning their journey on my neighbor's milkweed plant. Isn't that awesome? Thank you for sharing, Betty. Yay!
caterpillar has three parts, the head, thorax, and abdomen. The head usually has six pairs of eyes. Their vision is poor. The head also has a spinneret that produces silk. The thorax has three pairs of true legs, and the abdomen has five pairs of pro legs. Caterpillars are very hungry when they emerge from their eggs. They then eat the leaf of the plant and continue to shred their old skin because they grow so quickly. They eat all day long. Here's a couple of short videos of caterpillars eating their breakfast, lunch, dinner, snack. What do you think of that? Caterpillars do not make their chrysalis on the host milkweed plant. Instead, they move as far as 30 feet from their initial plant to a tree, another plant, or even the side of the house where they feel comfortable making it. Hanging on the rain gutter. Wow! It would attach a wad of silk and hang from it upside down in a J. It spends approximately 18 hours in this position, depending on environmental factors. They form themselves into a chrysalis. Inside this pod, a caterpillar transforms into a butterfly. It may take from 10 to 14 days or more to come out. That black part on top is going to fall off. When it gets this color to where you can see the butterfly, it's ready to come out. Yay! And it did. The chrysalis splits open and a brand new butterfly is born. It can't fly right away. Its wings are wet, wrinkled, and pressed against its body. Once the wings dry, the butterfly pumps a liquid called Humanex into its wings so they are strong enough to take off. Here are two videos showing you how they dry their wings off. Here we go. It just came out. I almost missed it. It's drying its wings off. Now it is ready to fly. And now I'm going to show you some places where they decided to make their Christmas. On top of our window. On the back door. My neighbor got a chance to see this one turn into a Christmas. On a flower pot.
on a fish net, ready to come out, and on a milk crate. Wow. Hello, everyone. My name is Paul Prudhomme. I am the egg and caterpillar spotter. No job too small for me. Once, I spotted this very small caterpillar on the ground, so I picked it up, and I put it on a milkweed leaf so that it would survive, and I did it. A short video coming up next. This one is getting ready to make its chrysalis. Here we go, making the Christmas now. Here we go. I had my neighbor over here watching too. Okay. She wanted she loves she likes butterflies too. Next door. Yo. <laughs> it's almost finished. Mm hmm It's done. This is how it looks as of today. You can see the wings a little bit. Wow. Through the chrysalis, the day before the adult emerges, you can see the orange black wings of the monarch butterfly inside. Excellent. I would like to thank Miss Claudia for sharing her video of the butterfly coming out of the chrysalis. So oh, beautiful. Can you tell male or female? Males have two black dots on their hind wings. I circle the black dots in a white circle so that you can see it. Females do not have black dots on their hind wings. So, on this Friday, I saw this monarch. She laid an egg. On this milk weed leaf. Save the monarchs. Plant milkweed. Yay! So, 
So, I hope you learned a lot about monarch butterflies. Until we read again.